Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophonet and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. We're still here at the untended, unkept, untended graves, I think. Where we uh, defeated the champion Gundir. And I just lit the bonfire. And this level still looks like an exact replica of the Cemetery of Ash. I'll first rest at the bonfire. And then I'm going to take a look at the uh, surroundings here, the immediate surroundings. Because I do want to head towards Firelink Shrine again before heading any further. Black Knight Glaive, that's interesting. Let's check that out. Because that is a weapon. Mm, one of the Black Knight weapons, here we go. Yeah, I shouldn't have equipped it. Glaive of the Black Knights who wander the lands, used to face Chaos Demons. The unique attack of this glaive greatly reduces enemy poise, reflecting the tremendous size of the enemies that the knights have fearlessly faced. And it has a spin sweep. But of course I don't really need that, I need my katana back. So that's interesting that there's a black knight weapon just laying around here. Hmm, so next up is that door which supposedly leads to whatever that is. Should be Firelink Shrine if it's an exact copy, but uh, let's head to the real Firelink Shrine first to spend my souls. So see you guys there in a set. Oh, it is actually part of the Cemetery of Ash. Which makes this even weirder. Okay then. Okay, oh there she is. I think we might be able to do two or three levels. Yeah, I heard that. I heard that before. So level up. Let's see. So 32. It'll probably raise too much to do three levels, but I'll pop something just in case. Um... We still need to do a lot of attunement if we want to raise that any higher. Well, I mean if I want to have another attunement slot to uh, equip another spell. So let's first boost everything else before we start putting points into that. How much does that actually raise? One point per vitality. Uh, I think I'm going to boost both of them again. So that they keep raising at the same speed, and then the last point I'll put into Vitality. Uh, or maybe Attunement. I'll put it in Attunement because I want to go to a bit more of a spellcasting class. To put that equal to my Dexterity. So let's see, what can I pop? Would this be enough? No, not even close. Maybe one of the next ones? Uh, that should be okay, I think. Let's see. Oh, we're 250, a little over 250 souls short. So let's pop another one. Ooh, those are big. But I'll spend the other souls on something else, because that's 5,000 souls down the drain otherwise. There we go. And vitality one up. Confirm. Farewell, Ashen One. May the so then we found, of course, the uh, soul of Champion Gundir, or we should at least. So let's see. Dragon Slayer armor. Champion Gundir. There we go. Once a champion came late to the festivities and was greeted by a shrine without fire and a bell that would not toll. Once a champion came late to the festivities. Huh. That... is not all that clear, is it? Weird. Um, well. What else do we have? Probably nothing new, but... Let's see. Anything else here? Probably not, because I haven't given her any more ashes. So what am I doing here? Ashen one, bring visit. Okay, Ashen so nothing one. new. 
Uh, I think my level is at the max that it can be. So reinforce. I don't think I actually can do anything with it, no. Anything else? Could boost the Dark Moon Longbow with Titanite Scales. But I'm not using it all that often. Could go for the Staff, boost the Staff a bit more. And I don't think it actually does all that much. Aside from maybe boosting the scaling, it does up the buff. So I'll use my chunks to upgrade that then, I suppose. Because the scaling is amazing. I mean, it's S all the way. So that's that. Pretty be careful. <laughs> I don't really know if I have any Esther shards or bone shards left. But I don't think so. No, okay. So with that done, I'm gonna go back to uh, Champion Gundir's bonfire. And let's see what's behind that door. Because I'm just as curious as you guys are probably. Okay, Untended Graves. Let's see. Let's open this door and see what kind of festivities the champion was late for. Because it said it was a shrine without a fire. Which would mean that there actually is something right here then. Hello? So there should be a path around here. So let's check out that first doesn't look like there's an item at the end here so never mind this is creepy that darkness is well it's smothering me a bit and I think that's supposed to be that way I hear something big there we have the black knight Okay, there's another one. Okay. Didn't mean to track you both. Okay. Are they gonna... Seriously? Leave! Leave! Are we gonna play it that way, seriously? Yeah. What the hell? Off. So that's one, okay. has been a while. So let's drink to that. Black Knight Helm and Black Knight Gauntlets. Did the other one drop anything? Because I don't think he did. Let's check that out. Uh, so the Helm and the Gauntlets. The Knight served the First Lord Gwyn that we know from Dark Souls 1 and followed him into the flame upon its linking. They became ash but still wander the realms to this day. So they kind of became immortal by uh, sticking to Gwyn. So yeah, that's the same. I don't think we have found the rest of the that armor, did we? No. 
it doesn't look like it, but there might be more here. So I need to be extremely careful that I don't trigger two at the same time again. Because I think I hear another one. It might have been my own armor as well, so... Don't quote me on that. So let's take a look around here first. Be wary of right, yeah, we know. Although it's a black knight this time. Yeah, okay, just just activate that. Backstab! They're not that hard actually to beat once you uh, get their tactic down. So another soul. I must say there's not much here. Aside from all the black knights, but... Hi. Hi. Like that? Yeah, that... Kinda fucked me, doesn't it? Don't you drop off now. Down he goes. I wonder if they respawn actually. So that here we're back at the same sword. This is actually the same indeed. As well, the Hornet Ring. I think I know that from one of the other Souls games. A ring associated with the Lord's Blade Ciaron. The Lord's Blade Ciaron, one of the four knights of Gwyn, the first lord, boosts critical attacks. The Moss Ciaron was the only woman to serve in Gwyn's four knights, and her curved sword granted a swift death to any and all enemies of the throne. So we know about Ornstein, but Ciaron is something I haven't heard of before. Strange. But okay then, so don't, don't drop off. So now we need to check out the other side. Well, more than we did before, because I just went up the stairs. There's probably one more over here then. I would think where the master was before. Or not. Chaos Blade, I think that's another katana. Let's look at that. The Chaos Blade. A cursed sword of unknown origin bearing uncanny streaks on its blade. Attacks also damage its wielder. The sword is not unlike a thing misshapen, granted life, but never welcome in this world. In other words, chaos itself. So it's the same as the Uchi Katana, only that it damages you while you use it. And the scaling is obviously a lot better to uh, offset the... well, the an advantage you have, the disadvantage you have when using it. Interesting. Can I open this? No. Can't even attempt to open it. Okay then, so I think... I'm wondering, if this, if this is a previous incarnation of Firelink Shrine, but where the fire died, then the darkness all around must be uh, the abyss, no? Or am I completely off track with my lore right now? Holy shit. And then I wish I took a light with me. So there's thrones over here as well. Sadness ahead. Um, can I go? Looks like I can. So I should check around the normal areas first. This is creepy. Going through a completely dead version of Firelink Shrine is uh, more than a bit unsettling. And I'm really sad I didn't equip my cast light spell right now because I would be able to use it. But hey. I could go back but 
I don't know if those black knights would respawn, so... I think there's actually enemies over here as well. <gasps> Is that one of the... Handmaids? Okay, then. Coiled sword fragments. Well, what can I do with that? Return to the last bonfire rested at, or to the shrine. So this is an unlimited use version of the homeward bone then. Fragment of the coiled sword of a bonfire which served its purpose long ago. Returns cost to the last bonfire used for resting or to the bonfire in Firelink Shrine. Can be used repeatedly. Bonfires are linked to one another irreversibly, retaining their affinity long after their purpose is exhausted. Okay then. So the bonfire was... Well, it wasn't really res destroyed. I think it just burned up after they tried linking the well, fire. Well, fancy that. A lost lamb wandereth in with nary a peep from the bell. Well, thou shouldst my purpose know. What can this old handmaid provide thee? Yes, I'm wondering that too. Um... To skirt the curse's grasp, tarry not for long. Tis dark for now, and not a soul stirs. But remember, fires are known to fade in quiet. Or perhaps that captive already, like the poor girl. <laughs> okay. So, I think she's talking about the curse from Dark Souls 1, which we contracted uh, for a short while, and then we cur cured it with the Firekeeper Soul. To skirt, tarry not for long. Yeah, dark to skirt now, the curse. Or perhaps, like the poor like girl. Like the poor girl. <laughs> Is she talking about Irina, then? What does she sell? What's this? Wolf Knight Helm. Wolf Knight Armor. What is this? And a key. Key to the dilapidated tower behind the shrine. Is this another version of that key? Because we have that key already. Weird, weird, weird. And then we have the priestess ring which increases faith. The high priestess has long been considered one of the three pillars. Next to the knight, I suppose. Wolf knight helm. Helm of a knight tainted by the dark of the abyss. The twilight blue tassel is damp and will ever remain so. A vanquished knight left behind only wolf's blood and his legacy of duty. The undead legion of Farron was formed to bear his torch and the armor of these abyss watchers suggest their own eventual end. So this is the armor of Artorias, isn't it? Interesting. How many souls do I have? 11,000. I'm gonna give it a second. Best not tarry long. <laughs> Best not tarry long. She's talking about this place as well, isn't she? I'm gonna check if I'm not hollowing. I'm not right now. Okay. I definitely hear another knight. Friend, friend, so there's no blacksmith here. Blacksmith hammer, is that a weapon then? Blacksmith hammer, there it is. Metal hammer passed down amongst the blacksmiths of the shrine. Serves as a strike weapon, but also excels at reducing poise and breaking the guard of a shield. Of course, a hammer's true potential is realized in the hands of a blacksmith. Nothing too spectacular, there is there. Okay, let's check out the side areas. Carlos not here, Greyrod's not here. And this is where Yol is supposed to be, and there's a dead guy over here. Ah, friend. Are you gonna scream? Hollow's Ashes. That's interesting. Umbral Ash of a Hollow who faithfully served a woman only to become separated from her. With this, the Shrine Handmaid will prepare new items. It takes but a brief glance at this thing to easily envision Londor, the foreboding land of hollows. 
Hmm. Will faithfully serve the woman only to become separated from her. There are more questions rising here than uh, I'm given answers to, but let's see if we can't find anything else. I think there's still one knight left. Because I keep hearing him. Praise the sun, yes. Kind of. I don't know where the light is coming from, but... So this is where Irina used to be. And there's nothing here right now. Oh! I was thinking that it's weird that there was a wall here, but... Oh god, that scared the shit out of me, actually. Pull back, you don't deserve this. This is a dead firekeeper. Eyes of a firekeeper. Why? Okay. This is getting weirder and weirder. Mysteries, mysteries, mysteries. Is this? Because I don't see it here. Is that a key? Yeah, there we go. Reveals horrors to the sightless firekeeper. A pair of dark eyes, said to be the eyes of the first firekeeper, and the light that was lost by all firekeepers to come. It reveals to the sightless firekeepers things that they should never see. Okay. Time for tears. Pull back, you don't deserve this. Okay, so we found something at least. Which is troubling, because it doesn't bode well for anyone. There are thrones, but... I don't really know illusion ahead. Yeah, indeed, but yeah. We found that already. We found that on our own. I don't need your help. Okay. So. The engravings are even the same. This is. Weird. This is weird. Is this King Lothric then? Or the King. Jesus Christ. Watchers of the Abyss, and then of course your the Giant. Okay, so that's exactly the same as it was before. Is there a secret here as well? No, I don't think so. So let's get up and go check out the Giant's Tree and the Tower, and I'll... Well, I'll immediately see if I need another key for that, or not. That's a cliff. Seed of a giant tree is yet to fall. Okay, there's no ladder over here, so that's one of the first real structural differences. And I can't open this. Hmm. Why can't I? I don't even get the prompt for it. I wonder what happens if I buy that key or can't I buy the key because oh no no I can't buy the key because she doesn't have that key so is there no way to get up there then that's sad I'll quickly check back with uh, the handmaiden over here and see if she Really doesn't sell that key, and otherwise I'll buy the wolf's armor. Because she appears to be the only one that's selling that. She did keep mentioning that I shouldn't be tarrying this long, but... This is so intriguing, so use... Two of those, that should give me 10,000 souls. Enough wow. to buy the key. But that's probably the key, yeah, okay. So the zero indicates that she doesn't have any anymore. Do I want to buy this entire set? I don't really know. Because it looks cool. It looks really cool. Don't really need the gauntlets or the leggings, so I... Do want to buy the armor and the helmet? So give me a second. Oh, what am I doing? That's what I'm doing. 
So let's use the last one as well. Yeah. And just buy the uh, armor. Thank you. To skirt tarot is all like the <laughs> like the poor girl. Best not. <laughs> oh wait, she's talking about the firekeeper that we found, the one we took the ice from. So let's see, how does that look? That is creepy. Uh, I do want to maybe because it's a lot lighter and it doesn't. I don't lose that much of the. Uh, that actually looks badass, but I do want to keep that other helmet. There we go. That. I kind of like that. I don't know why, but I kind of like that. So I'm going to keep it like that. That gives me a lot more extra weight that I can use. Maybe I should try something else for the leggings for once. Firekeeper's skirt is better. Why didn't I ever use this one, actually? Because now it's black. Painted black. Firewitch leggings. Which weigh a bit more and protect me a bit more. Kind of look like an outlaw right now. Yeah, you know what? Let's keep it like this for now. It's sad to uh, move away from the wedding dress, but... Uh, so no key, so I can't get behind the shrine here, so I don't know if there's anything I missed then. Because I've been everywhere. Can't get on top of the roof, apparently. Oh, seriously? That's a message, isn't it? God damn it. There's a way up there then. You know what I'm wondering? What would happen if you put the ashes in here instead of in the uh, positive firelink shrine? Would that be a different ending then? Be wary of beast. Why don't you fucking with me and just... Oh. That could be the case actually because they're I have the feeling that the messages on the floor are also ones coming from filing shrine itself although that could be players just messing with my head there's a way down here as well that was just to kick down the other dude so nothing here Okay then, I can't find anything, so uh, I'm going to head back to the uh, archives then, I think. Oh no, wait, I have something else I want to try first. But therefore we need to go back to Irritil Dungeon, I believe. There we go, and I think the dungeon itself will suffice. So we unlock the elevator over here to get us back to uh, somewhere fancy. So let's pull the lever. Because we found um, a gesture in the untended graves. And it kind of looked familiar. And I want to try something out to see if I'm actually on the right track. Because it would be awesome if that would work, actually. There we go. And I think I'm kind of at the wrong place, but I wanted to check out this area as well, so... I can one-hit the rats right now. I was wondering if I missed any of a door here somewhere.
Because that's the way we eventually went, but... So these are gonna keep spawning. Because there is something behind this wall. But how do I even get there? Because these constant rats are annoying me. Because that's where the elevator came from. How would I get inside that cell? <laughs> okay, that was not supposed to happen. I did that on purpose. Yeah, okay, so I was going the wrong way, so I kind of killed myself. I know I lost my ember effect, but hey, don't really care about that for now. She didn't do much, did she? Uh, I think I just need to get to the end of the... ...hallway here. Was it here or was it down? Probably down. I'm getting careless. I'm getting really, really careless. I'm getting really, really careless. Fog wall ahead. No, there isn't. So, on top of all, on top of all that, I'm actually at the wrong place. So fuck all these guys. I need to cross a bridge. This is where I wanted to be. And down here, drop down here. And then this is the gate I wanted to take. God damn it, Jesus. Probably took the long way to get here, but let's get the elevator. And wake up. I'm gonna change my covenant in the meantime because I've been at the way of blue for way too long. So let's put the uh, praise the sun on. Way cooler that way. Just like the way I look. Hi. But we've been there. So this is what I want to check out because this thing looks like that. Uh, and we've seen these messages here, gesture required ahead and then secret ahead. So I'm wondering if I, do I just need the gesture or can I, that's toast. Um, should be able to switch to another gesture. Yeah, th that one, Path of the dragon. Or just shit, oh shit, sit or Oh, okay, uh, that actually worked. Path of the Dragon actually took me to, well, did something. 
Oh god, what have I done now? Am I gonna go... how? I'm gonna go there probably, but how am I gonna go there? Okay. Am I gonna get stuck there? Oh, this looks pretty. A blue sky in a Dark Souls game? Um, where the hell are we? Because it doesn't even give me a title. Okay, that's me. Okay. So I'm kicking down those rocks. Oh, there's an item over here. Soul of a wary warrior, so people have been here before. Holy shit. That looks awesome. That looks less awesome. What the hell are you? Arch Dragon Peak. Arch Dragon's Peak, it's even a trophy. Well, of course that's a trophy. Look at that. And so those are those snake people we've been seeing in the... Wait a second. We've been seeing those in the untended graves. Well, at the end of uh, the Consumed King's Garden. But th those actually look like the snake people from in Dark Souls 1. Holy shit, this looks cool. This is amazing. Lightning gem, okay. Let there be praise the sun indeed, because the sun is shining a lot here. So this is clearly a dream of some sort. But I'm hoping for a bonfire, actually. Oh god. That was a fireball. I'm gonna go around the corner here. I'm gonna take a little break, so thank you guys and obviously for watching. Uh, we arrived at Arch Dragon Peak, which is quite something, as it looks like. So, uh, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel, because I'd really appreciate any support you can give me. Look at that, it looks so fancy. So, thank you guys and obviously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video stream. Goodbye!